you are incredibly lucky that I teach chemistry and not art because it, when it comes to talking about complex structures I have to draw them and I'm incredibly bad at drawing. So what I have for you here is a model of diamond and we're going to talk about how the structure of this relates to the property. Now this model was bought for me by the lovely Tuition Kit, they have a fantastic website where you can go and schedule all of your revision videos, loads of my videos and loads of other awesome YouTubers on there as well. In this model, the black parts are carbon and the red tubes are the covalent bonds in between them. You will notice that each carbon has four bonds. See this one on the edge here, it's got two spaces for a bond and then it's making two bonds here. Now, when we get right into the middle, it's a bit hard for you to see, but this one here is one, two, three, and then hiding four bonds here. One, two, three, four. Each carbon makes four bonds, and you can see this is an incredibly complex structure. It took me ages to build. But this is just a small part of what diamond can be. Each of these carbons, or each of these ones in the end, continues on to make a massive, massive, massive structure. And this is really, really solid. Look, it's really hard to squash. And the reason it's really, really solid, the reason it's really hard to squash, is because of the bonding. The way that all of these bonds are bonded together. It's so hard, the structure of this, um, you can't squash it, you can't um, break it, if I drop it, it's not going to fall apart. And that's because each of the carbons are bonded to four other carbons. Now this is, it's actually a beautiful model, if I just twist it around for you, you can see it's got loads and loads of... Uh, Loads and loads of um, rotations on here. Um, look, there you are. Hello. Sorry, I'll shut things silly now. Um, loads and loads of rotations on here, and this is absolutely massive. It's um, got lots of layers, so you can see it's kind of like a cube. One layer there, one layer there, one layer there, one layer there. This model I built out of four layers, but you can see the layers aren't flat. They're kind of zigzaggy all over. And this contributes to the massive um, structure of diamond and the properties of it. So the properties of diamond are that it's going to have high melting point and high boiling point. This is due to the strong covalent bonds in there. And these are intramolecular bonds because they're bonds inside the molecule. Intramolecular, not intermolecular. So high boiling point, uh, high melting point, which means it's going to be a solid at room temperature. Um, it's very, very hard. Um, it's very, very hard to break. It doesn't dissolve in water. It also doesn't conduct electricity because there are no free ions in here at all. And this is in contrast to graphite, which is also made of purely carbon, but has three bonds and can conduct electricity. 